Hello everyone and welcome back to the DeerCast. Um, there is increasing pressure uh, in this day and age within the deer world to head shoot as much as you possibly can. We've got some game dealers out there refusing to take anything unless it is headshot. Yeah, for those of you that are sort of more loyal uh, viewers, subscribers to our channel, you'll see we did a sort of discussion video on it um, probably about a year, year and a half ago. What we thought we'd do today is actually put the kind of real world um, theory into practice using this, which is the um, Davana Pro Stand Target. Um, you can get this in two different models. One has got a flat uh, base and one has got, which is this one, has got two spikes that you literally just jab it into the ground. As you can see here, you've then got three different hooks. And what we've done is we've put three different size targets on there. We're gonna go back to 100 meters and off sticks, see if we can reliably hit um, these, three, these three gongs um, with two different rifles. The, the targets you can actually get from Davana uh, for this, or Tom's targets, I should say, sorry, come in a variety of different sizes. These ones are the teardrop size gongs. Deliberately chosen this one, which is about two and a half uh, uh, inches, uh, so, um, and that's going to go on our top here. And to be honest, Harry and I were talking about this earlier. I think if you can reliably head, um, hit that at 100 meters, you can reliably and safely say you can humanely dispatch a deer um, at 100 meters, regardless of, of species. What we've done uh, as well is on this deer um, head target um, is paint probably again another sort of one two inch uh, circle on there and again if we can reliably hit that at 100 meters then I think we're going to say we're happy to, to head shoot 100 meters. If we've got time we're going to push back to 150 meters and see again if we can reliably hit hit within the white uh, either on this or on this um, 150 meters and see um, what the results are. This is vaguely nerve-wracking. Shush. Smacked it. Get the top one. Seen the, seen the tiny one. Oh, he's now in the middle. Well done. Smacked it. So. We've just done um, a couple of tests at 100 meters um, using the Merkel K3. So again, probably uh, using a rifle uh, that some people would say is perhaps inappropriate for um, head shooting with, um, but actually I, I find it's, it's a lovely little rifle to shoot and I'm probably more comfortable with it than, um, than my Tika. Um, did two tests, one uh, on this deer head here um, and hit within the white here. Um, and that was just using uh, the sticks without a fifth leg. Uh, so it was just kind of normal from 100 meters. Then moved up to the teeny tiny little gong here using the fifth leg um, and two very easy and kind of reliable shots straight there, um, pretty much in the center of the white gong. So we're actually gonna now push it back to 150 meters uh, and see whether we can still hit this little one or this deer head one at um, 150 meters um, again with the kip lauf. Hey! So welcome back everyone. Um, I pushed it back to 150 meters uh, and had a go at shooting the target here, um, again with the Merkel K3 um, and the 150 grain bullets. Um, my ballistic app tells me I need to come up two clicks uh, 150 meters, uh, which I'll come on to in a second. I think my ballistic app may be slightly over-egging how much I need to come up. Um, to be brutally honest with you, um, I aimed at this and shot at this 150 meters and clean missed. Um, I then went to a slightly bigger gong uh, and have hit just the top of it here, which is partly what makes me think the ballistic app is, is possibly slightly off because that's, I was aiming here and that pretty much is the amount I adjusted for. So I, I, I think actually if I hadn't quite pushed it up to another two clicks, I probably would have been in a more sort of confident place on this gong. Um, I'm gonna give it another try um, on this gong, probably just taking it up one click or even no clicks and seeing what that does. And if, if I can confidently get them in this round bit here, then I'll be quite happy sort of head shooting at 150 meters. Um, what I did find in this whole sort of experiment, actually, and that's probably why this is in some ways a bit of an unfair experiment, is that trying to hold the crosshairs on such a small target um, was actually surprisingly difficult. Whereas even trying to hit that white bit, but on this bigger target was much, much easier. And you'll probably see that, that that white area is actually smaller on the deer's head um, than it is on that gong there. So I think when it comes to actually sort of head shooting a, a live animal, because its head's going to be bigger than that, even though you want to hit sort of that size target, 
um, I think it will be easier. Um, we probably haven't got time this evening um, to re-experiment with that in terms of taking it down a click or two, but I think sort of in some ways point proven that for me, my sort of comfortable range is probably going to be 100 metres uh, head shooting stuff. Anything beyond that is going to be body shot this season. Um, be really interested to know your thoughts uh, in terms of a whether you head shoot and b if you do head shoot at what sort of distance you you push it out to what what your sort of golden rules are if that makes sense welcome back like us you probably thought uh, that was the end of the video uh, but actually whilst editing uh, some of the footage harry and i noticed two things or thought of two things um, the first one this is a bit of a confession um, i noticed looking back through some of the footage we'd caught uh, that the reason uh, my rifle was shooting high um, at 150 metres uh, was actually due um, to pretty poor technique from me. Uh, we'll include some footage of you here, uh, footage for you here, um, which shows me shooting badly, but then me shooting well, and you can see uh, pretty plainly uh, the results, or you can hear the results. And um, basically, what you'll notice is I wasn't gripping. Uh, the rifle very well uh, on the sticks and so as a result when the gun was going off it was flipping around uh, on the sticks which was I think or well that muzzle flip was causing it to hit high uh, on the target and in a couple of occasions causing me to miss. Um, the reason I'm including that is to show we all make mistakes um, but also to show that with say a body shot um, that sort of margin for error is there that, that that poor technique probably wouldn't have made a difference but as you clearly saw from from the footage it does make a difference when you're trying to head shoot a tiny wee target like that. Um, so it really does go to show that if you are going to be head shooting, technique is a massively important thing. Hey! The other thing we thought whilst we were putting the footage together um, was actually that uh, we ought to ask you as the listeners. So we did a bit of a poll on Instagram. Uh, and what was really interesting uh, was that we are, I think we asked three different questions and we'll put the results up uh, on the screen for you here. The first one was whether whether you take head or neck shots. Uh, and it was interesting, some of you don't, um, some of you do, uh, and those of you that do probably limit it to, to under or 100 meters or less, so probably similar conclusions to what I came to uh, with my experimentation. Uh, the second question was whether you prefer a head or a neck shot. And this was a really interesting result because I, I have never really, apart from in the row ruts where I've got um, a row butt coming in and it's really, really close and I want to preserve the head, I've never really gone for neck shots. But it was interesting, the majority of you prefer neck shots to head shots, which is very interesting. Um, and then probably unsurprisingly, um, the third question in relation to where in the neck you would aim to shoot a deer, the vast majority of you said top of the neck rather than the middle uh, or the base of the neck. Um, if any of you aren't on Instagram and therefore didn't take part in that poll, please do put the results below. Um, we're very much intending this to be um, a sort of discussion topic. It's not us advocating head or neck shooting. It's just sort of trying to understand what it is um, everybody else out there does how they do it, why they do it, etc. So um, please don't take it that we are we are advocating that. And as you will have seen and understood, hopefully from a lot of this footage, is that um, it's not right in every single circumstance, especially um, for some people at some distances, myself included in that. Um, so please do pop comments uh, in the section below, and we'll probably be doing a follow-up video to this one at some point. Uh, and most importantly, as per usual, please remember to comment, like and subscribe.